peace and blessings, beautiful people, peace and blessings. This is Empress Imani and welcome to this episode of Sacred Love Lessons. I am the lawmaker because everything I whisper is a law unto myself. I'm Empress Imani, inspirational teacher of Sacred Love Lessons. I help women to honor the law within so they too can manifest the life of their dreams. We're in season five, be your own guru. 12 Secrets of the Sacred Seba. Sacred Love Lessons is brought to you by House of Sacred Love, where every day is self-love day. Learn how to define your dreams with precision, set clear intentions, maintain your vision with consistency, and take inspired action in the right direction. You can book your clarity coaching session today at houseofsacredlove.com. That's houseofsacredlove.com. Our objective today is to channel our inner goddess energy and reconnect with ourselves on a deeper level. Today's episode is inspired by Hedy Lamar. Hedy Lamar was a Hollywood actress, inventor, and goddess. She channeled the energy of Aphrodite and Athena. Aphrodite is a Greek goddess who is known primarily as the goddess of love, fertility, and beauty. She occasionally presides over marriage. Athena is one of the most intelligent and wisest of the Greek goddesses. She is known for a good war strategy and giving heroes courage. Athena's special powers include the ability to invent useful items and crafts. Hedda Lamar invented a secret communication system with a frequency hopping technique that reduced the risk of detection or jamming of radio controlled torpedoes. Multiple radio frequencies were used to broadcast a radio signal, switching frequencies at split-second intervals in a seemingly random manner that would sound like mere noise to anyone listening. Lamar's patent is the basis of several technologies we use today, such as Wi-Fi, GPS, Bluetooth, and other military defense systems. Hedy's technology is used in cellular networks, Cell phones use frequency hopping to enable multiple devices to share the same frequency band without interference. Hedis technology is used in wireless networks. Wi-Fi routers and Bluetooth devices employ frequency hopping to transmit data securely and reliably. Hedis technology is used in GPS. The global positioning system relies on spread spectrum technology to transmit signals from satellites to receivers. Hedis technology is used in military communications. Secure military communication systems often use frequency hopping to disarm interception and jamming attempts. Remember, we have the power to change our frequency at any given time. The sum total of our thoughts, feelings, attitudes, and perspectives determine our energetic state. Spiritual frequency hopping is the practice of harnessing our inner goddess energy and moving from one energetic state to another at will. It also entails simultaneously transmitting the same energy signal on multiple frequencies. Some examples of spiritual frequency hopping are where you see babies. Babies are good examples of spiritual frequency hopping. Have you ever seen babies experience an array of emotions? They can be angry and happy within seconds, crying and immediately laughing. Children can fight for one moment and then love and play together for the next. Consider this. You discipline a child and within moments, the child's emotional state shifts from sadness to expressing love. This example vividly illustrates the concept of intentional energy shifting, a key aspect of spiritual frequency hopping. As we mature, it may take longer to shift energetic states, but rest assured, it is always possible. As long as you hold the vision, your spiritual journey will continue to evolve and grow with you. So how do we designate our frequencies and vibrate the goddess energy we seek to activate? First, let's cover the spiritual part of the equation. All of the energy mentioned this season is already inside of us. The power is already ours. However, we must know the power we hold. So this take us to number one, know thyself. We must know who we are. We must continue to ask ourselves, who am I? 
Who am I? I know I keep repeating this step, but knowing who we are is a foundational step. We must complete this process to have long-term stability and success. It's hard to say we can only access 3% of our DNA and the remaining 97% is junk DNA. I don't see it that way. I believe that the other 97% of non-coding DNA contains light codes and superpowers. For example, Angela Cavello saved her teenage son, Tony, in 1982. Tony was working on their car, a Chevy Impala, when the jack slipped and the car fell on him, pinning him underneath. In a surge of adrenaline, Angela managed to lift the car high enough for Tony to be free. In 2018, Mamudo Gassama from Mali saw a child hanging from a balcony while walking down the street. Mamudo scaled four stories of the outside of the building and saved the child. They call him Spider-Man in France. On 9-11-2001, a man wearing a red bandana carried a badly burned woman down 17 floors of stairs after the World Trade Twin Towers were struck by planes. He directed 17 other survivors down the only working stairway before heading back up to save more lives. He found yet another group of survivors that he led to safety all while putting out fires and administering first aid. As the man and survivors reached the street level, the man wearing a red bandana joined the New York Fire Department and headed back into the building just before the South Tower collapsed. He was found in March 2002 alongside several firefighters and emergency workers bunched in a suspected command post in the South Tower lobby. The New York Medical Examiner's Office said his body was found intact with no signs of burns. His name was Wells Remy Crowther. These stories are well-documented examples of the superpowers we can access at a moment's notice. Ask yourself, who am I? Who am I? Number two, ask your higher self for help. Everything you are destined to be is already inside of you. Your higher self already knows the way. Get still and ask your inner goddess for help. Then listen closely. Next is the physical aspect of the equation. We are the light of the world, even on a physical level. Inside of our cells are biophotons, light particles generated within our bodies and stored in the DNA. Many scientists refer to biophotons as life energy. Biophotons are constantly radiated from the body's surface. These admissions are the way our cells communicate with each other. Light flows between cells like a supercomputer. The frequency and speed of this light determine the overall frequency and vibration we emit into the world. Next is the mind aspect of the equation. Out of darkness comes light. Aaron Rodgers was right when he meditated in darkness. The pineal gland is more active in the absence of light. Our goal here is to bring forth light from darkness and see the light that is not visible to our physical eyes. This requires us to activate our pineal gland. What happens when the pineal is activated? When the pineal is activated, we receive information in the form of packets of light called photons. You may also hear people refer to this message as a spiritual download. So the four steps to spiritual frequency hopping is one, evaluate your thoughts. What do you think about the most? How do you perceive and feel about yourself and your situation? Remember, our bodies emit bio photons based on our thoughts and intentions. Number two, designate your guru. Study your goddess energy and her attributes in her higher nature. Keep in mind that we already have this energy. Then assign the appropriate inner goddess and embrace her energy. Number three, narrate your thought forms and frame your perceptions. This is where you create your story and share it with yourselves. 
You are the lawmaker because everything you think and speak is a law unto yourself. Whatever you say is what it becomes. Number four, take action in alignment with your goddess energy. So what happens when we practice spiritual frequency hopping? Well, first we are more in tune with our gifts and talents, our superpowers. We transmute energy better and manifest faster. We can shift our reality through timeline jumping, quantum shifting, and reality transurfing. I'll leave you with this final thought. You are a unique and powerful manifester, here to be dynamic in your own unique way. Learning to discipline your mind and designate your inner guru can unlock your hidden treasures. The power is yours. So that's what I have for you today in Season 5 of Sacred Love Lessons. Be your own guru, 12 Secrets of the Sacred Saber. Wherever you're tuning in in the world, don't forget to click that like button, comment, and subscribe. And until we speak again, be the light.